Hey, so welcome back to my channel. Um, before I get into tonight's video, um, I want to quickly thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel um, and everyone that's watched my videos. I hope you enjoy them and continue to enjoy them. Um, although uh, I must say the videos are going to dry up maybe a little bit because there's not that much darkness left now uh, during the summer months. So, um, but I'll see what I can squeeze out for the last sort of couple of weeks maybe. Um, but yeah, thank you all for following along on my journey um, and I hope you enjoy it and continue to enjoy it. So as you can probably tell there's a different mount to my previous videos here. Um, so last week I got the EQR6 Pro uh, which is a really top mount um, and I can't wait to start using it. Um, so the plan for tonight um, is to shoot the Iris Nebula, uh, which is a fascinating broadband target, um, which I haven't done too much of before, um, but it's just a really interesting object to the image. It's got this bright blue core uh, in the middle, and then there's this really dark sort of dust that flares off it. Um, and for that, uh, I'm gonna need quite a lot of integration time to pull, pull some of that detail out. Um, the hope is that I can get somewhere between seven and 10 hours, um, but that might be a little bit tricky because I only have around about two hours of complete darkness uh, left now, maybe for another couple of weeks and then I'm gonna have to stop shooting deep sky um, for a little while. Um, but yeah, hopefully, if the weather gods are with me, sort of, um, I, I can hopefully get this done this week. Um, yeah, so the plan is to shoot um, around about 10 minute exposures um, at zero gain with the 2600 MC. And uh, the reason for the zero gain is that I'm hopefully not going to blow out the core in the middle um, and get the full well um, balance right um, on the camera. So yeah, let's let's see how it goes. Um, before I start imaging tonight, I'm going to quickly jump to um, the moon and test the um, video stacking capability on the ASR Pro uh, which I haven't done before so yeah that's gonna be really interesting so I may even have a lunar image uh, to share as well so yeah again thank you very much for watching this video if you find this content useful and helpful uh, please do consider giving it a thumbs up and yeah cheers guys